My name is Marissa. My project is 3D printed fidgets. Um, so I'm a second year architecture grad student. Um, my project came from actually a lot of my experience in undergrad at Ohio State, where I used 3D printing on a, re on a regular basis my senior year um, to create my studio models. But those models were very static, so I wanted to create something that wasn't that um, and use a 3D printer in a different way. Um, and a lot of my inspiration for my project actually came from my thesis project, which I just finished up, which was about creating a sports arena that could accommodate autistic individuals. Um, so I wanted to create something that could be 3D printed in-house and handed out to autistic individuals to help their experience in the arena. Um, but I did a lot of broad case studies. Um, looking at different materials and how you can find different materials with 3D printing. Um, I looked at 3D printed prosthetic limbs um, that are a good option for those because they are cheaper and can be created more easily than traditional prosthetic limbs. Um, I also looked at 3D printed clay cool bricks, which is a passive cooling system um, that was designed and created in 2015 to cool a small house as well as the device called Dustin's Words, which was created by Matt Reamer for his brother, who was a non-speaking autistic individual that combines electronics and 3D printing to create a uh, AAC device, which is a device that allows Dustin to hit one of the buttons and it sends a text to his caregiver and will communicate his needs. Um, and after doing all these case studies, I decided um, I wanted to create a 3D printed fidget device um, that could help reduce stress and anxiety that would be printed in-house at a sports arena and can be handed out to autistic individuals in a sensory kit. Um, and although it started with autistic individuals, it's actually um, turned into more because fidget devices can be beneficial for everybody because they can help reduce anxiety, um, help with stress relief, um, boredom, and staying focused. Um, I've actually handed out a number of these to my friends, and I've gotten really good feedback, and I also have mine with me a lot. Um, so I've gotten really good feedback about my final project, which is a fidget cube. Um, this cube has two components. It has an exterior component, which has a number of different um, sides that it can be played with. Um, these include buttons, um, slider, spinner, those type of things, as well as an interior portion. The interior portion actually holds silly putty, um, and then the sides of the interior cube have different impressions where you can press the silly putty into it and create an impression in the silly putty. Um, so to 3D print these, it's about 10 different components that have to be 3D printed and then assembled. Um, there are the two base cubes for the interior and exterior, and then different base plates and components for the exterior cube. It takes about four hours to actually print the cube, and then from there it's about 10 minutes to actually assemble it. So overall, it's not too long of a process. And then here is that final product. Um, this is actually the third prototype. Um, but this side is rolling balls, which you can just run your fingers across. This is a spinner that does work, and that faceplate is what's holding it in. These are buttons that you can just click. Um, this is a spinner, or this is a slider. And then this is a textured hole where you can use to snap that rubber band. And then that interior component with the putty that you can pull out and create impressions in. I wanted to combine a bunch of different materials, including the putty and the rubber band, um, to create different sensations. Um, so now that you've seen the final product, I'm going to talk a little bit about my process. I started with different material studies because I always knew I wanted to include at least one other material. Um, putty or slime. Um, the best option ended up being this thinking putty or silly putty. Um, because neither of those stick to the cube and they don't dry out, so you can keep them in the cube all the time. And then I created a number of different prototypes, um, because my first prototype, uh, many of the different sides didn't end up working. Um, this was, these were supposed to be pins that you could run your fingers across, which ended up not working at all, because they did not print correctly. Um, I tried to do a maze where you can push a little slider through. Again, it didn't end up working. Um, well, with each prototype, I ended up learning what worked and what didn't. So with prototype two, I tried a couple different 
sides. Um, and this is when I started including different components such as these clickers, um, as well as the rolling balls. Um, the clickers give a little bit of noise, which was missing from the original cube. Uh, from my research, it was a lot of my research showed that having a little bit of noise can be very satisfying. Um, but this cube, again, it had a number of sides that didn't work. Also, the face plates were too thin, so I tried to thin them out. Turns out my original prototype was better on that account. So then on my third prototype, um, all the sides work well at this point. Um, it's still a little bulky, and that's one thing I would maybe want to change in the future. Um, but overall, it's very enjoyable to play with. You can ask some of our classmates. Um, and I've enjoyed this entire process to create these fidget cubes. I've actually ended up learning a lot about 3D printing, how do you set up a 3D printer, because I ended up buying one for this process. I've had a lot of failures uh, just on the printing front. And it's been an overall really good experience. It's something that I believe that I can take into my future in architecture, because 3D printing is still a large part of the actual industry. Um, I know the firm that I'll be working at has a 3D printer that they don't use because nobody knows how to use it, so maybe I can bring that back. But also, I created a product that I really enjoy myself and I'm considering selling um, or just handing them out to my friends because it is actually something that is useful.